Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people. For unity and brotherhood within the church, he came to build, and especially in this area of Santa Clarita. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor, the helpless, the cold, the hungry, the oppressed, the sick, and they that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who have not loved him or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us and upon another shore and in a greater light that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the, the word made flesh, and who will stand with us on that great getting up morning. These prayers and other praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven. In the words of Christ himself hath taught us to pray, Our Father, Father which, which art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done in earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as and we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory forever. forever and ever. Amen. 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 Genesis 3, 8-15 says, and they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? You, have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, The woman who you gave me to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel.
the future glory of Zion. The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them. And the desert shall rejoice, and it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice. Even with joy and singing, the glory of Laban shall be given to it. The excellence of Carmel and Charon, they shall see the glory of the Lord, the excellency of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For the waters shall burst forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land spring of water. And the inhabitants of jackals, where each day there shall be grass with reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and a road, and it shall be called Holy Highway, a uh, highway of holiness. The unclean shall put, shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, no, nor shall any ravenous beast go up on it. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And, and the, the ransom of, of the Lord, Lord shall return, return and, come and come to Zion, to Zion with, with singing, with the everlasting joy, joy on, on their, their heads. heads. They, they shall, shall obtain joy, joy and, and gladness, and, a, and, so, and, a, and a sorrow and, so, and Zion shall flee away. away. Isaiah 35, 1 through 10. Jeremiah 23, verse 5 and 6. Behold, the day come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his day, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Malachi 4, 2. 
But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Haggai 2, verse 6 to 9. For, the, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is little while, and I will shake the heaven and the earth, and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill his house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of his latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts, and in his place shall I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 61 to 3. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Micah 5 verse 2. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be little amongst the thousand of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from all, from everlasting. Amen.
reading from the first chapter in the book of Luke. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month, for the word of God will never fail. Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left her. A few days later, Mary hurried to the hill country of Judea, to the town where Zechariah lived. She entered the house and greeted Elizabeth. At the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child leapt, leaped within her, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth gave a glad cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women, and your child is blessed. Why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl. And from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made his promise to our ancestors, to Abram and his children forever. Eternal 
I'm reading from Matthew 1, 18 to 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which was conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Luke 2, 1 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be, his, to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them.
Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all of the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. 
for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called Magi, the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, he was, the, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took, took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simon. He was a righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he was seen it seemed the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant as peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel 
and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Peniel of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, at, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at the, that very important moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. John 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light in men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that come into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.
and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to one and all. Amen. 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 Amen.